course, is a big guest today. How do you go about booking somebody like Boris Johnson? Sure, I think when you're on the international booking circuit, uh, you, uh, a lot of the big speaker bureaus internationally will seek you out as much as you're seeking them out. And I got a call off his exclusive agent over in London to say, hey, guess who I just signed? Uh, Boris, are you interested? And I said, absolutely. And he said, oh, that's great. And, and I suppose the question, why would we be interested in, in such a, a controversial figure, if you like, right? And the reason being is that um, our delegates, our attendees, our, our friends, if you like, out there, because it's a real good community out here, have been obsessed with Brexit for the last two years. And we wanted to uh, challenge them and give them a different perspective because Pendulum is all about encouraging a diversity of thought. And we're not asking people to agree with Boris, uh, but we're asking them to listen and listen to what uh, he feels the opportunities are for the Ireland-British relationship, Brexit or no Brexit. And I think it's a wonderful piece. We could have rolled out a lot of um, ministers here, Irish ministers, and they would have given the party line. But this is going to be different. It's going to be explosive. We have Brian Dobson lined up, who we all know. Uh, there's a no holds barred um, um, interview taking place. So that is going to be a mouth-watering prospect. I mean, in the, the way the Brexit is at the moment, every single word is weighted and kind of nuanced and everyone is analysing every single thing. So this could be actually quite an important point in the, you know, you know, accidentally could be a quite an important part in the process. Mm -hmm. how, how, but how do you think that he's actually going to be honest when he's up on that stage, Norma? I think he will. I think he will. And um, Frankie was uh, on a phone call with him and he has promised to be authentic. And you know what? I think he's in a new stage in his life, a new chapter. And, you know, he may hopefully show that, you know, a bit of um, truth and vulnerability today. And actually, but to go back to Brian Dobbs and he's going to actually ask the, the right questions as well. You know, I think that's the key point when it comes to uh, Boris has taken. I mean, think of it now. He's going into the lion's den and he's putting himself on the line and he's doing it with uh, Brian Dobson, right, who is a no holds barred interviewer. I mean, I think the, he deserves a lot of respect for that. Uh, and I, I believe that somebody, anybody, uh, deserves a lot of credit for standing up for what they believe in. It doesn't mean I believe in it or Norma believes or you guys, but he believes in what he's doing. And, you know, he's, he's a politician and look, we all know about that. We've all watched House of Cards and how, what really happens in the back scenes. But of course there's political manoeuvring there and, and to be successful. But this guy is a fascinating guy. He's a very, very interesting guy. And, uh, you know, he, this guy could be the next British Prime Minister, you know, and, and, and that's the way it is. And, and, you know, whether you like him or loathe him, he is, uh, you know, you have to uh, respect uh, his stance on things. And, and a lot of the top CEOs in, in, in this vicinity where we are, are they're really excited. They're not saying we, we can't wait, we love him, but they just were really interested to see what he has to say.